Big Country Woods. I'm coming at y'all today with some Country Chronicles and Country's Kitchen. About to make some boudin for y'all. You feel me? So first we got us a Boston butt here. Nice, nice Boston butt. We're gonna go ahead and slice it up a little bit. sliced up real good about like that and we're gonna cut them down in half like that throw them in the bowl you know what I mean make sure your knife is sharp y'all see it go through that pretty easy cut that Boston butt up like that right there manageable pieces there then you're gonna go ahead and take your liver out okay this is poke liver by the way good old poke liver look at that good old poke liver I'm going to take my pork level over to the sink real quick and uh, rinse them off. Get a little of that blood off of that pork level. Take that pork liver and cut that pork liver down just like I just did that uh, Boston butt. You can use chicken liver when doing this. I mean, there's many different ways. This is, you know, the way I know how to do it. Um, you can get on YouTube, of course, and find you a few different recipes or find you a few different methods. Um, again, this is just the method that I know how to do. Take that pork liver. Throw that pork liver right there. Um, just like that. Now after you get your pork liver, you get your you get your pork liver, and you get your Boston butt cut up. You know you got all the rest of your seasonings. Uh, I got them prepped already. Let me turn this to y'all. I got some. Bell peppers, some white onion, some green onion, some celery. That's my sausage casing right there. And I got them the red and Louisiana seasonings and some black pepper, cayenne pepper, and parts of the flakes. That's all uh, onion powder, garlic powder, slap your mama. Um, all these are made down in Louisiana. This one right here is made out in Ville Platte. That's slap your mama. This here, that Cajun two step, is made out in Kentwood. I got all. Uh, Cajun two-step both ways, you feel me? Um, and got that tuna sachet is made out there in Opelousas. Uh, You know, that's my seasonings. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on over in that water real quick. So now that we got that liver and that uh, Boston butt going in some water, we're gonna go ahead and throw some celery in there. All right. We're gonna chop up a bell pepper and throw it in there. We're gonna put some onion in there. I mean, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta be stingy, but you can be pretty generous if you want to. You know, just make sure you have uh, some good flavor going on. You don't want to throw none of your other seasonings in that just yet. We gonna hold that. Go ahead and get some onion in there, man. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Throw that onion in there. All right. Like I said, you gonna go ahead and get your bell pepper in there. There we go, get some bell pepper in there, uh-huh. Should've cut this bell pepper up too, but I didn't. Y'all forget the camera. So 
I'm personally not big on using metal in my cast iron. We're gonna go and get some of these veggies down in the bottom of here. We're gonna go and get this thing covered up, make sure that these seasons can get all in there real nice and good, you know what I mean? Let that ball to all that liver and Boston butt get nice and tender. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and put my rice on and get my, my meat grind and everything set up. Oh yeah. Looking real good. I think a few more minutes. Give a few more minutes, it'll be time for it to come out. We go ahead and get it started. Nice little brown juice going. Gonna get some flavor in there, yeah. Look, look how tender this is. See that? That that's that's just a spoon, yeah. You know, get that meat nice and tender. We about to be rolling. I'm gonna shut this fire off. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff grinded up, man. We're gonna go ahead and start grinding. Uh-oh. Y'all remember all them onions and stuff that was in there, right? Look, you're gonna use a spider, go around, get all them onions and stuff up. You want all that good flavor in there. I'm gonna put this stuff, gonna drain that some. We don't worry about that. We're gonna get some of that juice. Don't, don't worry about that. We're gonna take some of that there and throw it right up there in that top plate. And we're gonna, we're gonna get all that there minced up, get all that grinding in there. All that's gonna get broke down. Watch this here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get all that. I've been doing away with a little bit of this uh, excessive fat. I'm gonna just put a little bit of that excessive fat on the side. I mean, I grind up a, a good deal of it, but you don't need all that fat in there. That fat gonna keep that thing real nice and juicy. And trust and believe, you got some fat on there. You using a, 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 a Boston butt, you got some fat. Trust and believe you got some fat. Let me get some of them onions and stuff in there. Then we'll go ahead and turn that grinder back on.
So y'all just seen me go ahead and grind up a whole a whole bell pepper. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get them a few more pieces right there. Y'all seen me grind up a whole bell pepper. Now right up top there, I got a whole onion. We're gonna go ahead and get that thing in there. Okay. Now that we got all of our onion, bell pepper, oh, hold on. Y'all had almost made me forget about my celery, yeah. I had to go and grab that celery so I can get it down. I mean, this, this fresh season is gonna bring that brightness out. You know what I mean? You got something that's cooked in that, in that broth, but then you want some fresh seasoning in there, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get that grinded up too. Let's hit it. So tonight, if that's all grinded up, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take a ladle, okay? we get us a ladle here. And then we're gonna get some of this juice. We're gonna try and get just juice. We don't want none of this, none of the extra stuff, because everything else is already grinded all up, you know what I mean? So all you want is some juice. You can take all this extra stuff out. You're done with all of that. You don't need no more of that. You want to get as much of that as you can in there from the jump. And I believe you got us a plenty. Now you want to just try and get as much juice. You see, you need that juice. You need that juice in there to uh, bind all that rice and stuff up once that rice comes. So you're going to add some of this juice in there, right? This here, making sure you have some juice in there is one of the staples I'm making sure that you got you a real, true, authentic Louisiana boudin. So you might go to some place and they might try and emulate it and they're going to call it a, a, a blown boudin or something like that. But you want yourself a real Louisiana boudin. All right? You don't want no, no imitation. You want some real Louisiana boudin. You want some of that gravy in there. Mix that up. Mix that up real good. Sure. The pot's still hot now. I think we're going to go ahead and post some of this gravy on in there. Now that the gravy is there, we're going to get the big kettle out of the way. And I already got my rice cooked. Nice warm rice standing by for me. Whew, that thing hot. I say warm, that thing hot. All you're going to do, 
Start getting you some rice in there. And start mixing that bad boy up. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go ahead and kick it up a little bit. Start off with a little slap your mama. Hit it with a little bit of that Cajun two-step fire. I'm gonna hit it with some garlic powder. I'm gonna hit that thing with a little onion powder. All right, I'm gonna give you a few parsley flakes. All this is gonna just make that thing taste good now, yeah. Uh, hit it with the two-step parsley, onion, garlic, little black pepper. Don't be afraid of a little bit of seasoning. You're gonna hit that thing with a little red pepper flake. You don't need a whole bunch of them. Just get you a little bit of them in there. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. You're gonna top it off with a little Tony Sash it is. Who am I kidding? All right, we're going to start getting that thing mixed up real nice. All right. Adding some rice in there. Make sure you have the right amount of rice. Consistency. So you're going to take your time, add that in there, add it in there, and mix it. And right now, we're going to start off with just about half the pot here. And that rice is nice and warm. All right, so take your time. Go ahead and get that mixed up. You don't want to throw your hand in there because that thing hot, yeah. I need you to step back for a second. There you go. Mm -hmm. See that wrist work? Yeah. That's what you want right there. I'm going to add some more rice in there. Oh, Lord, that pot hot. Let me bring some of that rice up. Hold on. Let me be smart. Let me stop. Stop fooling around here. That dog on pot is warm. I told y'all, man. Uh, Boo can be made with chicken. Oh, hold on. Y'all remember them green onions I told y'all about? We ain't gonna grind them up. We gonna just sprinkle them bad boys in there nice and fresh, just like that right there. Uh-huh. Sprinkle them green onions in there. Don't, don't be stingy with them, man. That's gonna make it taste good. That's gonna make it taste good. Go ahead and mix that thing up real good. Uh-huh. Mix that thing up real good. Now, my downside is I don't have an actual sausage stuffer, okay? I'm gonna use my grinder as my sausage stuffer. That's what you want right there. Nice, consistent looking mix of your uh, liver, your rice, your Boston butt. So pretty much what you have here is a rice dressing, okay? That's pretty much what you have, a pulp rice dressing, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get out a little taste real quick. Make sure we taste them good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, man, that's that boom. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That got good flavor right there, yeah. Put me a fresh glove on. I'm going to add just a little bit more rice to it, dude. Just a little bit. I ain't, ain't going to add a whole bunch. Just a little bit. All right. Mix that thing up real nice. Instead of having one of them big old sausage stuff, one of them big canister sausage stuff, I'm just going to dump all of this in there, slide that on all uh, that casing on there, 
and we're gonna go and get the rock and roll. So I'm gonna move this out the way and I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to set my casing up and set my grind up. Stand by. All right, this part right here might be a little bit tedious. So you're gonna find the end of uh, your sausage casing. This is natural casing right here. You're gonna take that sun gun and put it right over the top of uh, your, your tube right here. And then you're gonna just feed it on. Take your time and feed it on so you don't tear it up. This part takes a little bit of effort, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and I'll be back to you. All right, so now that I got that casing on my tube, I'm gonna go ahead and add some, add some rice on top here. Uh-oh. Go ahead and add some rice mix up top here. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with this sausage, making this boudin, because I mean, that's all it is, is a sausage. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Go ahead and get that little hopper loaded real quick. And uh, we're gonna get the going. Set that off to the side. I mean, he back in a second. you don't want to happen. Dog on link broke. That's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull some of that off. All right. Get that a little bit loose. We pro I probably got it pushed up a little bit too much, but that's okay. That's okay. We got some boudin going on here. So since we already got that and we, we done messed up, I'm not going to uh, hold you up. So what you want to do now is, you see, I don't have the stuff real tight. But what we're going to do now is make yourself some links, right? You don't stuff it too tight so you can be able to make them links. Boom. Twist that thing up like that right there. Make you a couple of links. You feel me? Make you a few links just like that. I'm about to turn that to you a little bit. And since we already broke off right here, I'm just going to go and squeeze that down. So my links are a little inconsistent right now, but oh, there you go. You got yourself four Buddha links. Just like that right there. You all there. You all there. You got Buddha links right there, partner. They gonna taste good when you cook them. Yeah. Hey, enjoy that. Come on, man, man, said bone. Country Chronicles. So, as y'all can see, all the boudin is made. Um, really have to go and get me a vacuum sealer so I can package all this stuff up and uh, make it look a lot better. But all the boudin is made, man. If y'all liked what y'all seen, 
hit the like button, shoot me a comment, and subscribe. Y'all been here in Big Country's Kitchen, Woods Family Outdoors. Y'all enjoy. God bless.